Since the last time you were here, uh, you Good were nominated for a Golden Globe. Yes. Hey, Very congratulations. Exciting. That was fun. Woo! Thank that you. That was great. You were fantastic in that, uh, in, in eighth grade. It was so Thank good. Thank you so much. Uh, yeah. What was that night like? Was it fun? Ooh, it was a night. It was, right? No, I mean, it was wonderful, because I've been to award shows, but that was like an award show. Big deal. Oh, like, yeah. I think the red carpet was like a football field, the length of that. Really? Yes. Did you um, meet any big stars that you uh, want to oh run God. into? I mean, uh, I'm very nervous about talking to other actors, because, you know, I study their work a lot. Uh, I heard you got to meet uh, Timothy Chalamet. Yes, yeah, I mean, I've gotten to meet a lot of people, but he was one of the few that actually approached me. And at first, I was like, I heard this guy go like, hey, what's up? And I'm like, oh, that's Bo Burnham, who was with me at the award show. Of course, that was his movie. Tall man, yeah. bro. Um, and then I turned around, and it was Timothy Chalamet. And I was like, oh, hi. And I started shaking. And, <laughs> you you were nervous? Yeah, I'm always nervous. Are you it's my, are? It's my secret cat. It's your secret <laughs> Is that your secret weapon, is being nervous? That's, oh, yeah. That's your superpower? Yes. Yeah. Well, you know <laughs> you get what? Nervous it's it's under helpful pressure. because then people sympathize with me, so it works out. We love, uh, <laughs> we love, uh, we love uh, Timothy, uh, but uh, was there anything that you wish that you told him oh, that man. you didn't say I to mean, him? I mean, our because, was so brief, but... Well, you know what? We actually have the Timothy Chalamet puppet we bought online. <laughs> so if you want to, you, you can oh, talk to the... Harness. You can talk oh, to the Timothy Chalamet puppet and oh. tell him everything... I can pretend to knock, tap on your shoulder like Timothy did. Please, okay, yes, let's act this out. Bo? Oh my god. Hello. <laughs> wow. I am Timothy Chalamet. Oh my god, your eyes are so. Yes, look into them. Oh. Is, is, uh, you are great in the movie, uh, how you say it in French? I think it's a form, right? A form, yes, <laughs> eighth grade. Okay. You were great in eighth grade, and now we have the Golden Globes, and you are gold. <laughs> is there anything you'd like to say to me, Timothy Chalamet, who, by the way, is not even French? <laughs> Let's go get some baguettes together. Let's go get baguettes together. Get you are awesome. Elsie Fisher, you are great. I will see you at the Fallon Show. Bye. <laughs> you got to say hi to Timothy again. Oh, good to see him. <laughs> So good to see him. Uh, I, I want to uh, talk to you quickly about uh, something that I, that I think you're doing is very cool. You're writing the score to a video game? Yes, yeah, I'm very excited. I love video games. Oh, me too. I mean, I've been playing them for forever, you know? Yeah, I had, I had a Game Boy Color. Like, that was my first console, so. <laughs> yeah! Nintendo. That was, that was probably my 15th console. I'm, <laughs> hi, I'm your grandpa. Hi, how's it going? <laughs> Uh, but that's, uh, uh, how are you getting involved? What is it? What is it called? What music yes, are you writing? Yes, uh, so the game is called Witch of the Wilderness, and it's in pretty early production. Um, but it's kind of about the near future and the apocalypse, like the climate apocalypse. Super fun stuff. Yeah. Um, yeah, but I'm, I'm writing the music for that because I wrote the score for my Dungeons and Dragons podcast. Um, yes. Oh, I thanks. love that. Such a large career in music already. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. Uh, you gotta love all this rep. I do love all that. Uh, I, I, I want to uh, talk about Adam's family because um, I'm happy that they're rebooting this. Um, Me too. It's so good. It's a great uh, animated film. And uh, this, you play a new character. Yes, but I play a character who has never been seen before. Yeah. She's uh, Parker Needler, the teenage daughter of the main antagonist, uh, Margot Needler. So she's already got it pretty hard. Yeah. But she, you know, is an outsider, and then she meets Wednesday, the ultimate outsider. Yeah, now and they're you become friends. friends. Yeah, they're friends. Oh, I love that they did it. This, this movie's more based on the comic or the cartoon that it was based on. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I love the fact that it's animated, which is awesome because we've never really had that type of incarnation before, but the fact also that the designs are, like, faithful, faithful to the original. Yeah, that. it's good, it's spooky, yeah. and it's perfect for Halloween. Oh, so perfect. And uh, I'm psyched right now. I want to show everyone a clip. Here's Elsie Fisher in The Addams Family. Take a look at this. What's your favorite filter? I don't know. I look black and white in all of them. You know, when I met you, I thought you were super weird. But now, I think you're really cool. I concur. How'd that beret you bought yesterday go over at home? Actually, my mother's reaction was, well, unexpected. She was accepting. It depressed me. I wish I could do that. But my mom makes me wear this stuff, and it's just so, so... I believe the word you're looking for is unfortunate. LZ <laughs> Fisher, everybody! Uh-huh, uh -huh. and on and on. Uh, I said, 
and it's on and on and on. 